Welcome to the Bible in 365 Days. Today is episode 4, Genesis chapter 12 through 14. Chapter 12 Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. So Abram departed as the Lord had spoken unto him, and Lot went with him. And Abram was seventy and five years old when he departed out of Haran. And Abram took Sari his wife, and Lot his brother's son, and all their substance that they had gathered, and the souls that they had gotten in Haran. And they went forth to go into the land of Canaan, and into the land of Canaan they came. And Abram passed through the land unto the place of Sychem, unto the plain of Moreh, and the Canaanite was then in the land. And the Lord appeared unto Abram, and said, Unto thy seed will I give this land. And there built he an altar unto the Lord, who appeared unto him. And he removed from thence unto a mountain on the east of Bethel, and pitched his tent, having Bethel on the west, and high on the east. And there he built an altar unto the Lord, and called upon the name of the Lord. And Abram journeyed, going on still towards the south. And there was a famine in the land. And Abram went down into Egypt to sojourn there, for the famine was grievous in the land. And it came to pass, when he was come near to enter into Egypt, that he said unto Sarah his wife, Behold now, I know thou art a fair woman to look upon. Therefore it shall come to pass, when the Egyptians shall see thee, that they shall say, This is his wife, and they will kill me, but they will save thee alive. Say, I pray thee, thou art my sister, that it may be well with me for thy sake, and my soul shall live because of thee. And it came to pass that when Abram was come into Egypt, the Egyptians beheld the woman that she was very fair. The princess also of Pharaoh saw her and commended her before Pharaoh, and the woman was taken into Pharaoh's house. And he entreated Abram well for her sake, and he had sheep and oxen and he asses and men servants and maid servants and she asses and camels. And the Lord plagued Pharaoh for his house with great plagues because Sarai was Abram's wife. And Pharaoh called Abram and said, What is this that thou hast done unto me? Why didst thou not tell me that she was thy wife? Why saidest thou, She is my sister, so I might have taken her to me to wife? Now therefore, behold, thy wife, take her and go thy way. And Pharaoh commanded his men concerning him, and they sent him away and his wife and all that he had. Chapter 13 And Abram went up out of Egypt, he and his wife, and all they had, and lot with him into the south. And Abram was very rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. And he went on his journey from the south, even to Bethel, unto the place where his tent had been at the beginning, between Bethel and Hai, unto the place of the altar which he had made there at the first. And there Abram called on the name of the Lord. And lot also, which went with Abram, had flocks and herds and tents. And the land was not able to bear them, that they might dwell together, for their substance was great, so that they could not dwell together. And there was a strife between the herdom of Abram's cattle and the herdmen of Lot's cattle, and the Canaanite and the Perizzite dwelled then in the land. And Abram said unto Lot, Let there be no strife, I pray thee, between me and thee, and between my herdmen and thy herdmen, for we be brethren." Is not the whole land before thee? Separate thyself, I pray thee, from me. If thou wilt take the left hand, then I will go to the right. Or if thou depart to the right hand, then I will go to the left. And Lot lifted up his eyes and beheld all the plain of Jordan, that it was well watered everywhere before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, even as the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt, as thou comest unto Zor. Then Lot chose him all the plain of Jordan, and Lot journeyed east, and they separated themselves the one from the other. Abraham dwelled in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelled in the cities of the plain, and pitched his tent toward Sodom. But the men of Sodom were wicked and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. And the Lord said unto Abram, After that Lot was separated from him, lift up now thine eyes, and look 
from the place where thou art northward and southward and eastward and westward. For all the land which thou seest, to thee will I give it, and to thy seed for ever. And I will make thy seed as the dust of earth, so that if a man can number the dust of the earth, then shall thy seed also be numbered. Arise, walk through the land in the length of it, and in the breadth of it, for I will give it unto thee. Then Abram removed his tent, and came and dwelt in the plain of Mamir, which is in Hebron, and built there an altar unto the Lord. Chapter 14 And it came to pass in the days of Amraphel, king of Shinar, Ariok, king of Elisar, that these made war with Bera, king of Sodom, and with Bersha, king of Gomorrah, Shinab, king of Admah, and Shemember, king of Zobiam, and the king of Bela, which is Zor. All these were joined together in the vale of Sidim, which is the Salt Sea. Cheder Lomer, king of Elam, and Tidal, king of nations. Twelve years they served Cheder Lomer, and in the thirteenth year they rebelled. And in the fourteenth year of Chedorlaomer, and the kings that were with him, and smote the Rephaims in Ashtaroth Carnaim, and the Zuzims in Ham, and the Emmons in Shavei Carathaim, and the Horites in their Mount Seir upon Elparan, which is by the wilderness. And they returned and came to the Amishpat, which is Kadesh, and smote all the country of the Almakites, and also the Amorites that dwell in the Hazon Tamar. And there went out the king of Sodom, and the king of Gomorrah, and the king of Adma, and the king of Zobiam, and the king of Bela, the same as Zor. And they joined battle with them in the vale of Siddim, with Cheder Lomer, the king of Elam, and the title king of nations, and Amphrael, king of Shinar, and Ariok, king of Elzar, four kings with five. And the vale of Siddim was full of slime pits, and the king of Sodom and Gomorrah fled and fell there, and they remained fled to the mountain. And they took all the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah and all their victuals and went their way. And they took Lot, Abram's brother's son, who dwelt in Sodom, and his goods and departed. And there came one that had escaped and told Abram the Hebrew, for he dwelt in the plain of Mamir of Amorite, brother of Shol and brother of Anir. And these were confederate with Abram. And when Abram heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed his trained servants, born in his own house, 318, and pursued them unto Dan. And he divided himself against them, and he and his servants by night and smote them, and pursued them unto Hobah, which is on the left hand of Damascus. And he brought back all the goods, and also brought against his brother Lot, and his goods, and the women also, and the people." And the king of Sodom went out to meet him after his turn from the slaughter of Cheder Lomer, and of the kings that were with him at the valley of Sheva, which is the king's dale. And Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought forth bread and wine, and he was the priest of the Most High God. And he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abram of the Most High God, possessor of heaven and earth. And blessed be the Most High God, which hath delivered thine enemies into thy hand, and he gave them tithes of all. And the king of Sodom said unto Abram, Give me the persons, and take the goods to thyself. And Abram said to the king of Sodom, I have lift up mine hand unto the Lord and most high God, the possessor of heaven and earth, that I will not take from a thread even to the shoe latchet, and that I will not take anything that is thine, lest thou shouldest say, I have made Abram rich. Save only that which the young men have eaten, and the portion of the men which went with me, Aner, Ishkol, and Mamir, let them take their portion. And that will be the reading for today. We are four episodes into this adventure, and I want to say thank you to everyone that is listening. May you all have a blessed day.